<laughs> the good, the bad, and the ugly things you need to do on the road to getting the Platinum Trophy for LEGO Incredibles. In this video, we will be looking at what this game is, whether it is worth your time playing, as well as the good, the bad, and the downright ugly trophies you need to collect in order to unlock that shiny almighty Platinum Trophy. LEGO Incredibles is an action-adventure game based on the two Incredibles movies. If you have played pretty much any other LEGO game, then you will know exactly how this one plays out. Are you kidding me? There is a world hub, a dozen or so levels, a large number of characters to unlock, and a bunch of red bricks and studs to collect. Obviously, this one is set in the world of the Incredibles, so the majority of characters to unlock will be superheroes, as well as a handful of other Pixar characters. As you go on your journey to defeat the game and capture that big bad platinum trophy, you will be doing things such as collecting all mini kits in every level, performing a 10 second wheelie, and achieving 100% in the game. The good. There are 52 trophies for this game, and a large chunk of them are for completing each chapter in the game, as well as doing other things needed to advance the story like creating a family build. It is highly recommended to play through the story first and knock off these trophies, as you will need to play through every story level a second time around anyway, as you cannot collect everything needed to 100% that level in the first place. By completing levels, you will naturally unlock characters and abilities needed to obtain everything in previous levels, including getting all mini kits. By completing the story early and collecting these things in each level, you will also be able to knock out a number of character specific trophies, such as compete the final showdown with Lucius Best, a character you unlock in level 9, and attacking Gilbert, unlocked by getting all mini kits in level 9, with Bob Parr, unlocked by getting all mini kits in level 2. Another thing worth doing right away when you can is to unlock the stud multiplier red bricks by competing certain crime waves in different areas of the world hub. Getting and unlocking these studs as quickly as possible will allow you to get the I'm a billionaire trophy out of the way quickly. You will eventually have to complete every crime wave in every area to net the trophy Superhero of the Year. The bad. Being a LEGO game, there isn't really any bad trophies, but rather slightly more difficult trophies to obtain. Perform a wheelie for 10 seconds during the hover train hijinks, can be quite frustrating as you need to constantly do one while dodging traffic and flying robots shooting at you. There is a straight part of the road early on, so do try to get it done at this stage. The trophy will pop once you have lasted 10 seconds. Score incredible in all raccoon encounters during revelations can also be tricky for some. At this section, you will be fighting off a bunch of raccoons and you will need to mash a button that appears on your screen quickly to get an incredible score before it disappears. This happens three times in the sequence, and you need to do it all three times to net the trophy. Achieve a 75 hit combo might sound daunting, but it is quite simple to get, just as long as there are a handful of enemies around. To easily get this, Jump up and then stomp down on the ground with square, dizzying the enemies. Here, you can unleash a quick perfect combo on a single enemy. Do this with a few more of them until the trophy pops. The Ugly Again, being a LEGO game aimed at children, I wouldn't consider any of these ugly, but one that is a bit frustrating to get is 100% completion. You have to do absolutely everything in the game to get 100% such as winning every race, collecting every gold brick, unlocking every character, completing all challenges, and so on and so on. Wow. Doing a lot of these will unlock other trophies too, so this will more than likely be one of your last trophies to get. One more slightly frustrating trophy is for using all of Jack-Jack's abilities. Oh my god! Wow! It is also best to select him in free mode whilst playing through the story levels again. Most of his 8 abilities are able to be used on the spot, but there are a few which need to be used in specific spots such as lighting up dark areas and teleporting through walls. Once you remember this and do this with all of his 8 abilities, this one shall be yours. So, is this game worthy of your time? 
This game was very fun and I enjoyed playing it with my sons, especially flying around creating havoc on the streets of the hub. It was awesome to be able to create your own character and get them looking like real superheroes and villains like Wolverine or Homelander. It was perfect. Perfect. Everything. Down to the last minute details. Being a kid's game, it's not difficult at all to plat, bar maybe one or two trophies. But even then, after a few attempts, there should be no trophy to stress over. It is also one of the shorter LEGO games, and you should be able to knock it off in around 20 hours or so. Although you might enjoy spending your time chewing up the clock in the World Hub. Ultimately, I think it is a fun and easy game, meaning it is a good game, and you should go for this Platinum Trophy.